All right, for more on this Oiler victory Wednesday night over the Golden Knights, here is our director of scouting, Craig Button. Craig, this is a significant win for this Edmonton Oiler team. They're sixth in their last eight games because not only do they not have their captain, but they're playing a team that knocked them out of the playoffs last postseason, and they very well might have to face again this postseason. Uh, where would you rank the Oilers right now, Craig, in terms of the contenders in the Western Conference? I'd put them right at the top, along with the Dallas Stars. They're, they're in the Central Division, the Stars. But when you consider what the Edmonton Oilers have done since Chris Knobloch has taken over, they've been the best team in the league. Top five goals for, goals against, power play, penalty killing. Nothing they've been doing is accidental. Everything they've been doing is with a purpose. And, and, and it's with the idea that this is what it takes to win come playoff time. You know, you, you go into a game without Connor McDavid, and certainly that leaves you shorthanded. That would be an understatement, to, to say the least. But this Edmonton Oilers team is showing that they're much, much more than just one or two or three players. And that's what it takes to compete for a Stanley Cup and win a Stanley Cup. So the Vegas Golden Knights roll into town. They're trying to find their game. And the Edmonton Oilers say, uh, not, not tonight. Not on this Wednesday night. You're not going to do that. Go try your game somewhere else because we're going to take you and dispatch with you. And this comes on the heels, Jay, of what they did last Friday to the Colorado Avalanche, who knocked them out in the conference final in 2022. That was a 6-2 victory. So you want to be serious about winning the Stanley Cup you got to play the right way. you got to do the right things. And the Edmonton Oilers have done that since November 13th. And now, two serious competitors, the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights, the two last Stanley Cup champions, come into Edmonton, and they are dispatched summarily. And that's what it takes. Show these teams, hey, listen, you think you have a chance? Not against us. I love the attitude that they have. I love the way they went on it. And right now, when I look at the Western Conference, I see Dallas and Edmonton in a collision course in the conference final. Craig, uh, before we let you go, I want to ask you about this uh, young gentleman. This is you yourself, of course, and Ben. Tell me about Ben. Ben Kane, I was in the supermarket today just down the street from myself. Ben lives up the street from me. He is, uh, grew up with my youngest daughter. But Jay, he came up to me and he says to me, he goes, is Jay as nice off the camera as he is on the camera? And I said, absolutely he is. I said, he's a gem. I said, there's only one person that's more lovely than Jay off camera, and that's Chovy. <laughs> that's my wife. Uh, Craig, I've got some money here. I'm going to uh, make sure I get it mailed out to you. I really appreciate those kind words. Uh, <laughs> next up, the Oilers host the Coyotes. That'll be Friday. The, uh, the Coyotes, wherever they're, uh, they're playing these days. Craig Button, thanks for this. <laughs> and Ben, shout out to you, my friend.